It is I, Deimos, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day today, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a very popular topic, and that is how to improve your aim. Now, I want to start with saying my aim is by no means perfect, but I'm going to be going over some ways to improve your aim, and maybe even mine as well, so let's get right into this. Also, quick plug, I'm live over on Twitch every day from 6.30pm to 9.30pm EST, and I'd love to see all of you in there. All my links can be found below. So to achieve better aim, we first need to look at our equipment. It's a fact that our mouse, mouse pad, controller, and even our monitor are huge factors in this. So in this first section, it's going to be more about your actual equipment, and then we'll get more into the end game things, but we can't ignore how important our equipment is, and unfortunately this list is going to start adding up and getting kind of expensive as I go, but unfortunately that's just kind of how it goes really. You need good stuff to perform at your best. So number one is let's talk about your mouse. Get a better mouse. Having a good mouse is important since it's the actual device you're using to aim. You need something that fits your hand, but also something lightweight and with a good sensor. I used to use a mouse from Amazon that was like $16 and honestly I was amazed at how good it was. I'll have it linked down below, but I just recently moved up to the Glorious Model O- and I like it a lot better. It's lightweight, it's so much smoother than my old mouse, it was about $60, which is a bit of a price, but the quality is well worth it. If you're on controller, I highly recommend picking up some control freaks or really any of those grips that go on your thumbsticks, they're actually pretty helpful. I used to play on PlayStation 4 and I had a set of them and they were actually pretty good at helping with accuracy. They're usually pretty cheap as well, so maybe look into these if you're on controller. Scuffs are also probably nice, but I've never actually used one. The paddles on the back might make certain things easier, like bee hopping maybe, but like I said, I can't really talk too much on this since I've never used one. Also with the mouse portion, I'd like to throw in that your mouse pad is also just as important. You need a long mouse pad to have the space to move your mouse freely, and with a bigger pad you can go down to the proper sensitivity, as with a small one you simply won't have the needed length. So yeah, anything over 18 inches should work, but you probably need a bigger mouse pad if you don't have one. So next on our equipment list is of course, a better monitor. A better monitor means more frames, and that means better performance. Sadly, on console this won't really help you as much since you're capped, but a 60Hz monitor would be perfect for you. PC users though, we need to talk quickly about how your frame rate and monitor refresh rate work. So let's say you're in game getting 150 frames, but your monitor can only do 60Hz. You're losing over half of those frames that could be helping you. You're only going to see the amount of frames your monitor will show you, so those other 130 frames don't even matter. This is why upgrading to a 144 or even a 120Hz should be something you all on PC aim to do. I'm sure someone is going to think while watching this that you can't see or tell the difference between 60 and 144, but I promise you, you can. You can see it and you can even feel it. The difference between 60 and 144 is night and day and anyone who tells you otherwise is wrong. There's a reason no pros or top players use 60 FPS monitors, they're all 144 plus. It does make a big difference and if you make the change you'll see how big it is. Although 144Hz aren't cheap, but they're well worth the investment if you want to improve not only your aim but in general. So that's kind of the equipment list and now we're going to move on to some in game things and since we're on the topic of frames you need to get as many as possible. So now we're going to lower our settings. Yeah, the game won't look as good but that's unfortunately just part of how it goes when you're trying to get the best performance. Your game isn't going to be pretty. For Apex especially, holy cannoli you need to lower them. This game is surprisingly hard to run and doesn't really run that well honestly, so lowering everything is a must. You'll get more frames and the game will run much smoother. Micros really count here, so you need every ounce of performance you can get when it comes to the topic of aim. Milliseconds and micro adjustments are what separate winning from losing. While we're in our settings, let's take a trip over to our sensitivity. Lower your sensitivity. This is a huge area where we can make some massive improvement. So more than likely your sensitivity is too high and you have a small mouse pad and that's probably why. See where these tips are crossing, you need the mouse pad to lower the sensitivity to the proper level, just like you need the higher refresh rate monitor to get the better frame rate so you can have the smoothness needed. It's all connected and they're all important to each other's success. So my best advice when lowering is to go down slowly, by 0.2 or maybe even 0.1 every game or every couple games until you start getting used to that slower sensitivity and getting more comfortable. This goes for controllers as well. Aim Assist works so much better at lower sensitivity than high. So take the time to lower your sensitivity. It will be well worth it, I promise. This is the one tip that will probably help you the most. Aim trainers are fantastic ways to practice your aim. Kovacs cost, I think, like five or maybe $10. Aim Labs is free. And there's even an Apex specific trainer on Steam that costs $5. It's called Apex Aim Trainer. There's even something on PlayStation called Dreams. If you look up Aim Trainer in there, it should come up. Xbox, sorry, but I don't think you all have one, so GG's there, but aim trainers are a great tool to practice your tracking, reaction, flicks, so many things you can practice in here and get some seriously nasty aim. I highly recommend using these. So a while ago, I was giving this exact piece of advice to a friend of ours who wanted to improve at Rainbow Six. 
And Apex kind of has the same issue, and that is you really only get one life. It's basically no respawn. You don't get to quickly get back in the fight after death. In Rainbow, you're dead until the next round, and in Apex, you're probably going back to the lobby. Playing other games helps a lot with this. Call of Duty, Overwatch, really anything with quick respawn where you can get back in the fight and constantly be fighting, where you get that practice over and over again. This kind of goes hand in hand with the aim trainer, it gives you the chance to get some muscle memory and just more practice in general. Definitely play Apex, but branch out to other games with more and faster respawning to try and get that quick and rapid fire practice. At first, this tip is going to drive you crazy, but it will help you and that is push fights. Don't loot for half the game. You land, get a kit, and start looking for someone to shoot. Hear shots, push them. Third party, get that practice. If you and your whole team have purples and full backpacks, why are you still looting? Go fight people. Learn how to engage and fight off third parties and just shoot enemies. This will help you so much. You'll learn recoil control and the more you do it, the better you'll be and the more confident you'll become. And confidence is extremely important to name. You have to believe you can win a gunfight. I hope all you enjoyed and let me know in the comments what tip you personally could benefit the most from. Hope you all enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.